Hi there, my name is Lack. I'm going to do a video for you just to show you how to use the new channel point system to do a queue system, essentially a queue system, for those that do Twitch things. This is a way to make sure that people who join your queue are actually people who are active in your community and active in your chat. Um, generally, the way that it works is that people get around 220 points, which you can rename to anything. In my case, I've called them bananas because it's a thing in my channel. Um, you can rename them to whatever you want, and they get about 220 per hour by sitting in your chat. Um, they also get uh, points for doing things like following, participating in raids, gift subbing, um, bit, you know, sending bits, stuff like that. It's all in the, uh, the actual information when they first go into your channel um, on how all that works. But they can earn enough. So generally, um, you can set the amount that they've got to redeem of your currency to whatever you want, whatever you think is fair for joining the queue. Um, it doesn't take long to get points um, at all. And people who have been in your channel for multiple streams, the points continue on. So m most likely they'll have a lot of points accrued over time anyway. It'll only be the very first stream where people might struggle to actually be able to join the queue at first, and then they'll, it'll just be fine after that. So the way that you do that, um, I'll go out of this. So you go into your um, dashboard, the new stream manager dashboard, and you, you do the little burger menu on the side and go down to community, open that up and go down to channel points. Now at this point, you can, your channel points should be enabled by default. If they're not, you gotta turn them on. Here at the edit button here, you can change the name of the, the name of what you wanna call them. In my case, call them bananas and you can put a picture on it as well so that when it shows up down at the bottom of their chat, it'll have your little icon of, of whatever you wanna call it. That's pretty straightforward. Very easy to do, just make sure you have the right resolutions, each of them with a transparent background, preferably. Um, PNGs will automatically have a transparent background if you do them in Photoshop. Um, then you get down to manage rewards. Now, by default, the rewards that come with it are highlight a message. They can pay 100 to highlight a message on screen. Um, they can unlock a random emote for 320. Um, they can talk in, in sub-only mode. I don't use sub-only mode, so I've turned that off. But they can, if, you, if you've got a sub-only mode, they can use that to talk in there. Um, they can choose a specific emote to unlock. Um, for 480 and they can modify a single emote for 900. You can edit any of these and change any of these values. I've just left them on, for, on default for now. Um, it has a thing called auto adjust, which means that uh, with smart costs. So the more people that are in your, in your channel, the more followers you have, stuff like that, it will inflate these to make the costs fair with your, with your audience size. Um, so you can press that and it will adjust over time or you can set them yourself by turning that off and going in and editing them. Now, if you want to create a new custom reward, which is what we're doing for the Twitch Things queue, um, you go to add a new custom reward. So you click on here. You can change anything here. You can change the colors that you want. Um, you can also upload an image here. I haven't done that yet, but you can upload an image here for what you want that icon to be um, if you want to go that far. Um, now, here I, I called mine. Um, I'll go into my one that I've already created so you can see what it looks like. Um, I haven't done the icon yet, but so I've just called it join the Twitch Things queue. And then a little description of what you get. So in my case, it's like, um, use your bananas to jump in the queue and I'll sing with you. Um, and so what I've done also is I've made it required a viewer to, to enter text when joining the queue. Um, so that way they can write what song they want or if they, you know, or any song or whatever they want um, in that case. Um, and I've made the cost 500. I'm not sure how that will work. We'll see how it goes over time. Um, your images, your background color. Um, and so once you've done that, you just basically press save and it's now a custom reward in your rewards list when people go down to look at it at the bottom of the screen. So that way people will have the, the reward sitting right there. Um, now the way that you use this as a queue, so when you are um, streaming or at any time really, um, you can go into your, your um, request queue, which is here, review request queue, um, which looks like this. And then it'll come up with this screen, which is a pop-out screen. Um, which you will basically have all of your custom requests here and custom rewards here that people can can queue up. So once you once you've got your join the Twitch things queue, you just click on that, and it will have all of the people. Right now, obviously, there's none on this list, but all the people that are in your queue. Um, and then once you've sung with someone, you can remove them from the queue. You can also pause redemptions, which is essentially the same as closing your queue. So once you like when you are ready. To open the queue, you can click this on and let people join. And then when you, if you're getting ready to 
closed your stream out for the night or you just don't want to have any more people join the join the queue you can pause redemptions and when they go to use that it will it won't be um uh, available for them to, to actually use um i don't know if there's a way to like if you're using stream deck like i am and in the past you had like a button that opened and closed your queue i don't think there's a way to meant to um to do that as far as i can see but um just clicking on a button isn't that difficult so but I mean, that's basically, that's, that's all you really need to know. Um, the other things to look out for is if you are running a bot and you're currently using the apostrophe join command for your queue and you've got any um, associated messages that come up when people do that, um, you might want to put in a, a message in there, at least in the time being, that when they type join, because that's kind of become the, the de facto thing that everyone does is pre do a you know, exclamation point join. Um, I think I said apostrophe before. I always say that. Um, exclamation point join. Um, when people do that normally, they expect to go in a queue. So it might be an idea, at least in the short term, to have a message on there that says, you know, use your channel points, whatever you want to call them, um, to get into the queue. Um, I just think that the reason I'm, I'm t trying this out for a while to see how it goes is because I think that there is a, a lot of um, problems that are cropping up and I'm hearing a lot of people talk about in the community and I'm, I'm experiencing it a little myself of people who jump into queue and then leave and don't actually participate in the community, um, in, in my community and in your communities as well. So this might be a way um, to solve that problem and have people um, join the queue who are um, active in, in your chat and active in your community. Um, if you want to try it out, go for it um, and, and let's see how this works. Hopefully it'll be a really good um, solution. We'll see how we go. But in the, in the meantime, thank you everyone for watching and um, have fun with Twitch things. See you.